Hello friends. In today's video we will see, what is ELV system, what are the job types in ELV systems, what are the opportunities in ELV system, and important interview questions for ELV engineer. By watching this complete video, you will learn, what are the career opportunities in ELV systems with salaries, what are the components of ELV systems, and what are the important questions and answers for ELV engineer or ELV designer, so stay tuned. First of all, we will know what is ELV system. ELV system for buildings stands for extra low voltage system deployed in residential and commercial buildings for the purposes of better control and security. ELV systems operates on extra low voltage of 50 volts AC or 120 volts DC. Now let's see what is included in ELV system. One of them is building fire alarm system, which includes fire and gas detectors, building fire alarm panel, building management system, beacon lights, manual call points and heat detectors. Access control system falls under ELV systems, either it is for a building or a plant. Components of access control systems are, entry exit card readers, door magnetic locks, door status switch, access controller, brake glass unit or a push button, biometric card reader and video intercom. CCTV system also known as video surveillance system, falls under ELV systems. CCTV system is crucial for any metro city. CCTV is designed to help prevent and detect crime and to monitor vehicle traffic in the city. CCTV system is implemented for buildings, for plants and factories, government offices, airports, metro stations, railways and seaports. Public address system, also known as PAGA system, falls under ELV systems. PA system is used for making important announcements to address the public. PA system is crucial for any production plants, multi-story buildings, malls, railways, airports and seaports. IP telephone system is also a part of ELV systems. It is implemented for the internal as well as external communication. LAN or Wi-Fi system is also a part of ELV systems. Let's see, what are the opportunities in ELV system? The ELV system offers a range of opportunities in various industries. Some of the opportunities in ELV system include, security systems, fire alarm systems, building automation systems, communication systems, audiovisual solutions, building management systems, and, integrated solutions. Let's see, what are the job opportunities in ELV system? There are many vacancies like ELV project manager, ELV project engineer, ELV site engineer, pre-sales engineer, technical support engineer, ELV supervisor and ELV technician. Now last part of this video is for interview questions and answers for ELV systems. First common question can be what is ELV system, that I already explained in the beginning. Another question can be, what are the different types of ELV systems, this answer is also covered for you. Next question can be, what are the applications of ELV systems, the answer is for physical security in defense, smart cities, company and plants premises. Fire alarm systems, building automation systems, communication systems and building management systems. For the next question, you can be asked to brief the interviewer about your previous projects and ELV systems you have worked on. You have to explain your duties and achievements during your last projects. Do mention the ELV systems like for CCTV, Hikvision, Honeywell and Pulco. For access control, Hikvision and Honeywell. For fire alarm, system like Honeywell, Boss and Siemens. Next question can be, what is the standard for ELV system? The answer is ELV system is designed based on the N61558, BS7671 and IEC60742 standards. Next question can be, what is power over Ethernet? What is PoE used for? Power over Ethernet is a technique for delivering DC power to devices over copper Ethernet cabling, eliminating the need for separate power supplies and outlets. Devices with PoE can therefore receive both power and data from a single Ethernet cable. Other things you must remember, as per IEEE standards, PoE is injected into a cable at voltage between 44 and 57 volts DC, typically 48 volts DC. You can use power over Ethernet cable to a nominal maximum length of 90 to 100 meter. PoE devices can supply a maximum of 15.4 watts per port. You can be asked questions related to fiber optics. You can refer my videos on fiber optics interview tips by clicking video links in the description. Another important question can be, explain the signal flow for access control system. First, you can brief the interviewer about components of access control system. The signal flow starts from the user authentication, then access request, 
then system verification, then access control device activation through various methods like electric strikes, magnetic locks, or motorized barriers. Another question can be about the components of CCTV system. You should explain the types of CCTV cameras, cabling requirements, DVR or NVR types, video management software, network switches and storage devices. Another question can be about the components of public address system. You should explain the types of speakers, microphones, cabling requirements, amplifiers and mixers, control panels, power supply, and recording and playback devices. If you want detailed video on interview questions on public address system, do comment in this video. Last question can be on fire alarm system. What is fire alarm system and its types? A fire alarm system is a building system designed to detect and alert occupants and emergency forces of the presence of smoke, fire or any toxic gases. The two main types of fire alarm systems are conventional and addressable. Question can be added like, what are the types of smoke detectors? There are three types of smoke alarms, ionization, photoelectric and a combination of the two which is commonly called a dual detector. Last important question can be explain the spacing of smoke detectors. Smoke detector radius is 7.5 meter. The spacing of between two smoke detectors is 10 meter. For the heat detectors, the radius is 5.3 meter and the spacing is 7 meter. For the corridor, the maximum spacing can be 15 meter. Thank you for watching this video. You can always reach me out by commenting in this video. Do like and subscribe for getting notifications for my upcoming videos.